All right. Welcome to uh, episode, I think it's 28. So this episode of the Datsun 521 Restore Resto Mod is about the uh, start working on the hood, finally. Getting all the rust and chrome off of that thing. Uh, finally get the license plate repaired. Taillights are finally installed. Partially working. And I get some OEM connectors. Uh, paint some hood parts and I get a tack install getting ready for the first start and uh, there you go this is a 28 so enjoy like subscribe and I think it looks pretty much the same from here but uh, you may notice the new windows but that's in another video the next week all right I guess time to start on the hood this is the before it's actually broken down here and somebody's added on a little reinforcement rod and a bunch of shims somebody did grind it down and glue it though that's a good start so i gotta try to clean this up primer it i actually de-rust it first thing to do is take out this nice chrome and the little windshield washer thing down there and i think rust treat it Oh, well, that looks really nice and straight, and I don't see any obvious dents in it. Just gotta figure out how to, I guess, weld that back up. I'm debating whether to leave a little bar on there or not. Obviously, somebody didn't know how to shut it here and pulled on it and broke the hood in half. User error, looks like, damaged the hood. Yeah, let's put some acid on this thing and get this thing de rusting. That's weird, there's a thread there, but not there. And that, what, oh, there's one there, there, but not there, there. Oh, is that like right-hand drive versus left-hand drive? Ah, I bet so. Interesting. All right, so here's the latest wiring harness. This is for the uh, driver's seat. I just ran one wire, the brown wire, came brown. Made it longer. I'm gonna run this up to the uh, fuse box. It'll always be on. And I just ran all the grounds to one lug. This should be for my uh, <laughs> my food power seats. So now my uh, driver's seat will work all the time. All right, here's the seats. Try and get some blinding in here. I don't know about that seatbelt yet, but uh, got the seats in. A little dirty in there. Just working on getting the dash now. I'm in the wiring now. I got the steering column moved over, moved down, moved up, moved in, moved it three different ways. <laughs> Let's see how these work. Oh, they're electric. That's still locked back. Nope. Well, that's not good. Got the tail lights on. Just waiting for lenses. Just put the tailgate back on and put a tailgate handle back on. And uh, I think it's a slightly different color. I'm not sure. I think this needs more white. I hope it's not because of the orange underneath. Anyways, the paint's not 100% done yet. <clears throat> I'm liking my little tail light brackets. I just threw the tail lights on for the first time. Oh, let's see. I think they're like 35 millimeter, four millimeter Allen head stainless screws. Got the license plate light back on. I mean the license plate back on. Ended up drilling these out to six millimeter. I screwed up when I was trying to do a five. Looks pretty good actually. I don't know if you can tell. I love the it's actually bent down. I gotta had a bandage to drill it out for all those busted bolts. But, uh, starting to look like a truck. I officially got the hood 100% uh, stripped. I got out the uh, windshield wiper. That was over there. Cut that out. That was like a 19 millimeter or 916 bolt. It's aluminum. That was hard to get out. Got this chrome strip off. This thing fought me. These little tiny screws didn't want to come out. I have a feeling they're stainless. 
because I had to drill one of them out and it was really hard to drill out or my bit was still one of the two but I got this stainless drain off it's pretty nasty under here and I've put so much uh, phosphoric acid on here it's burn all the paint off that's what happens if you leave it too long all this paint is just uh, gonna peel off I was kind of hoping to keep that paint I just put it on the rain. I've got this piece of angle iron somebody welded on because the hood broke. Gotta figure out what to do with that and weld it back up. But I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. This is one broken too. Well, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, there's six screws. So I'm gonna drill these out and put Allen bolts in here as well. Why not? But I just soaked all this. You can see the little screw I drilled out there. And the other one, uh, I just sanded it down with my little sander here because uh drill didn't seem to want to drill but i've been soaking this thing for over a day in acid trying to get rid of all this rust wow look at this it's actually working now and i put it on the rain for about four hours <laughs> uh, i'm about to spray it down again it's really working this rust is almost gone. Wow. Actually, I almost see paint. I mean metal. All that rust is gone on that one. That looks great. Or it's turning black. I have a feeling there's a lot of rust underneath this hood. I just can't see. I think I'm going to have to flip the head over, put it up on sawhorse or something, spray inside there with... I just keep coming out every once in a while and... Every couple hours and get another soaking, burn all that rust off. Anyway, yeah, I think it's pretty bad. Kind of hard to get up in there. Just good in there. I just don't want any rust underneath these supports and you know, rusting through. Get out of here. I finally realized why there's a removable door on the back side of this light. It's so you can get to the nut because the factory turn signals had a bolt welded to it and then there was a nut that you put on from the back side so you took that door out put the nut on. Well, those are all broke when I got it so I converted to clips. But now I don't like the clips because I'm worried about bad electrical, because this is also the ground for the circuits, the turn circuit and park light circuits. So I decided to convert it back to nut and bolt technology. But I'm doing nut certs, bolts through the front, I drilled out the broken bolts, and now you get a nice all connection. And uh, these little clips, you know, you have to grind out all the paint off, and you gotta worry about a good ground. These are okay, but these, this is better. At least now I know why there's a door back there that I can remove, which I don't really need anymore. I got all four marker lights working on the front of the truck. So those are LED and those are conventional incandescent bulbs, 35 watts. You can really see the difference. Check this out. Now. And then the dash lights. Are on as well. Put on the uh, hazards. I got my hazards. Now you see, all those are so much brighter. Those are the uh, whatever wattage that is. All right. So it's license. The license plate light. Uh, just fixed one of the threads, and the other one got messed up. So I just got mad and drilled it out. Take it up to six millimeter. I think originally it was what four millimeter. I think it was four. no, it was five. It was five. And I fixed one of them. It was uh, with a uh, vice grips and a, a tap from the front. It was painful, and then I realized I could do it from the back. So I said, forget it. I'm just drilling it out, making it six. And now you can just do it from the back with this. Uh, it's more room from the back. And bigger is easier because just the taps are easier to grab. 
Yeah, I'm going to make these bolts work for me. Because the only alternative is to cut all these welds. This bracket is welded to the bed. I may uncut it and take it off one day. But uh, not today. So now I just drilled out those threads. Now i got to fix the other side. These ratcheting caps are a lifesaver. I only own this one. I can't even find another one. I think I got it at Lowe's. Yeah, it's getting a little tight. Drill a 3 16 hole for a 6 millimeter tap. It's supposed to be a 13 64 which I don't know if I have one. Just to drill these things out and big, use bigger taps. Now ah, I can finally put the license plate back on. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was so I drilled the hole with this uh, right angle. This thing's cool, 20 bucks. And uh, fits into all kinds of crazy places. And then, uh, Try to tap it with this, but this thing just too big, it's too hard. So I ended up tapping it with just a pair of pliers on the tap. Then I realized I could tap it on the back side. And then I was like, man, I could use my good tool. And I decided to drill out a six millimeter and gave up the five, stripped it out because I couldn't get it straight. Now it's all six millimeter. Same as the, uh, this thing, the plate holder. Figures better, right? Six millimeter. So now I can finally put my plate. Now I can straighten that thing out. Put my plate in my uh, license plate light on. See, so here's the original little screws this thing came with. These are four millimeters, and I think that's three millimeter. The little teeny things are a pain to get on and off. Six millimeter upgrade. A little bit different, but problem won't well, fit. You say. There's a tool for that. Now it's 6mm compatible. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but all these lights are kind of brown and gray, all these bullets. So I've just been soaking them. Let's see, got the lights are just. I've been soaking them in uh, vinegar. I don't want to leave the painted in there. I'll leave them in vinegar for an hour or so. And they clean right up. So far, I've actually got six bulbs working on this truck. Should be number seven. So uh, let's leave that a couple hours and then we'll put it in. The bottom of the hood is actually starting to look pretty good. I put so much rust up acid on here that burnt off some of the paint, unfortunately. So it's down to bare metal. And then it started to rust and then I sprayed it again. Now, it's weird. The first time you do it, Rips off the paint, goes down to bare metal. Then it flash rusts. Then you just spray it again, then it seems to be good. But yeah, look at the rust on these hinges. I either want it to be bare metal or black, no rust. So I think one more spray there. This looks a lot better. I took a sander to some of it, and then I sprayed, trying to get rid of all this rust. I need to make sure I get the inside of this. This little sanding thing was awesome. Trying to get rid of all this goop. I don't know what that is, some kind of sealer. This looks so much better. Ah, right, so yeah, gotta weld that up. I was really worried about the underside of this. Is this feels really crusty in here? I have to get like a mirror or something. To see this. So well, my camera's falling off. Let's see what's inside of here. Feels pretty nasty. I'm just afraid it's all rusty. 
And I've been trying to spray in there with the acid. Maybe I'll just have to get like a rag and dab it or something. Not sure how to get that de-rusted. Other than that, I think I got rid of all the rust on the bottom side. I want to make sure I can try to make sure there's no rust in here, you know. Last thing I need is a rust bubble popping through one day, years later. But, uh, it looks ugly, but it looks so much better. And the chrome looks like it's in perfect shape. It's just a little dirty on one side. Pretty nasty on the inside, but it's, it doesn't even have a dent in it. So that's nice. Yep, so uh, what to do? What to do next on this thing? I wanted to just primer and paint it and put it on the truck, but it's never that easy. This thing was just too far gone. I don't think there's any dents, big dents in here. All right, I think I got an idea. So I just stood on end, sprayed all that with acid, and then uh, I think I got in here. Right? Yep, suck this baby. I just sprayed these springs to get rid of rust. I got a great idea. I think I'm gonna paint this red. Maybe this red. At least this red. Maybe that one black. So it'll stand out. So I don't get left open and you know, shut on. You won't believe this, but I just found three more of the original headlight springs. So I technically have four. One of them's a little broken and rusty, but after all this work looking for them, I finally found them. I had them in a baggie with the hood latch hardware for some reason. But here's the 621s I bought from Thailand. You can kind of see 620 versus 521. Massive size difference. So this one broken as well. Maybe that's just the shape. I guess I guess this is what they look like. So the 621s, the eyes go the same way, so they're harder to get on. Oh, what a pain. These stupid headlights. I hate to say, but that new spring or the original spring does does go on easy and uh, nice and strong. I don't know what this one is. And then this is my custom one. I guess my Allen bolt. I think I got one over there. I don't know what's over here. I think this is my cheapy low spring. I'm not taking it apart until I put in new lights. But uh, there you go. That's what a 521 spring looks like. Like I said, I bought this truck in a million pieces, so it wasn't together when I bought it. I can tell, but we got a license plate light working. And we got a rear tail light working. Awesome. So what I'm doing here is this thing had some, I found the original wire harness, but it had these aftermarket connectors on it. But luckily I had a depinning tool and I was able to depin it without shorting the wires. And I've been soldering on, I bought this kit on eBay or Amazon or somewhere online. And basically it's uh. Old, uh, what does it say? Old connectors and motorcycles and cars. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's basically the factory style connectors. I think they're nylon. You got one pin, two pin, three pin, four pin, six pin, nine pin, nine pin. And uh, I'm having trouble crimping them on. I've got all kinds of crimpers, but I'm just soldering them on. I'm using something new, not a soldering iron, but I'm using this new heat shrink stuff. This stuff is pretty cool. It's quarter inch originally, and then it shrinks down to eighth inch, but it has glue inside, so you can see right here. The stuff is so big that you can actually crimp and solder your connector on, then slip the stuff on top, and then heat shrink it down. And uh, pretty easy to do. I'm just soldering every one of these connectors. So here's my new tail lights. You've already seen these. Painted black on the outside, painted chrome on the inside. I've already got those two bulbs working. The middle one's not working for whatever reason. I didn't put it back together right. But uh, I had a little problem. I soldered females on the truck side, males on the, what do you call it, the light side. I accidentally melted the new nylon connector and I was able to get three of them out, but this one just doesn't want to come out. But, um, yep, 
So uh, I mounted a ground. I couldn't find anywhere to ground on the body. There's a ground wire in this harness. I just wrapped a new tape. They had no tape on it at all. So I plugged it in, electro taped the whole thing, and it fits these weird connectors. Reached to the taillights. So I'm just putting on some. You know, I didn't have the other gender for the. I was missing taillights. I had no taillights or brackets. So I had to try to put these on. Like I said, females on the body for the powers and males on the thing. So let's see if I can get this figured out. I just got myself trying to get this stupid thing off. Well, it's going to look so good. Minus the extension cords and the dog. Red on the back, yellow on the green. So that's a red LED inside of a red housing. And that's the yellow one. Oh, watch out, that's hot. Oh, that's soldering iron is hot. Don't be sniffing my soldering iron. Nosy little dog. That's hot. Don't lick that. That's hot. Don't lick it. You're gonna get burnt, dog. <laughs> that's the heat gun. You nut. I'm gonna burn your tongue. Okay, that's my chair. My official workstation dog. I'm gonna go to the dog park. Hmm. Can't get that stupid connector off. It's killing me. What do you want? You just want to go play with your friends, don't you? So there's the hood rod. I painted it red twice. Should be paint too dry now. Ooh, that looks nice. It's brand new. It's gonna go look good with his brother, the spring. Where's the spring? I painted this one black. Should have cleaned it better, but it's just a spring. I think it's gonna go good. Instead of painting them white like factory, they'll just blend in. That way they'll pop, and that way I remind myself to pull the lever before I shut the hood. I'm liking these lights. Even though I have to do my own connector, they're very simple. You got a yellow wire for the turret signal, a green wire. For the park lights, a red wire for the brake light, 757, and then a uh, white is the reverse light. Well, it's a white, yellow, green, and it's the only one that's you got to memorize. Is green is park lights, red is brake lights. So easy peasy. And then you need a ground, so that's the bolt that holds it in. You take this out. The ground will break. You can see my license plate light is nice and white. So this thing is flickering like crazy. Here we go, my first my first connector. First wire on the first connector. And uh yep. Good stuff. That was easy. Didn't even look at the color code, just poked around until one wire had power. And it hooked up the yellow wire. Now I got a turn signal. And I got two wires to go. Should be able to figure out the other two. Same method. Just turn on. Well, the brakes are kind of tricky. I don't know if the brakes even work. Uh, actually, the brakes should always be on. I don't know about the brakes if they work or not. Uh, what's this reverse light? Uh, that's a good one. Oh, the key needs to be on for the reverse light. That one's going to be trickier. Brake light will be next. Okay, here's the before. This is the factory dots in the hood emblem. Got one broken clip. Gotta fix that. But uh, this is before paint. Now look at this uh, hood switch. I left this in the uh, vinegar for a couple of days. It was, I think, kind of, it's like brand new bare metal. Amazing. Here's the other one. I had another one I did that too. Oh, here it is. This one didn't come out quite as good, but. At least the uh, bulb actually moves now. This is a uh, hood lamp switch. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to fix this slash. I accidentally hit it with a belt uh, cutoff wheel, basically a grinder. <laughs> I just cut some strips of uh, an old belt. I'm gonna try to shove those in on the inside and put shoe goo and uh, glue it back together. Luckily, it'll be a console. Actually, up to here, so you'll never see that, but I need to put it together. 
I also need to fix a whole cigarette burn in the seat. I don't want to get that from the bottom, but I'm going to fill that with something somehow. So we're going to fix this first. Got some good old fashioned, uh, I already lost it. Shoe goo, or E6000, same thing. That works good on claw. I'm assuming I can shove this stuff in here. Oh, yeah. I should saturate this thing first. Get out of the way. Pour a little glue. Hopefully that's enough. This is going to be a nasty job. How am I going to get this in here? Cloth is whatever. Ray, but oh well. I should try to do another one. That piece is too big. I'll do another one another day. Oh, what the hell? Where did I go? I lost a piece of black cloth. I lost the bulb. Put this on here just temporary to hold the seam as a band-aid. Well, the glue drives. Okay, we'll do that one later. Let that dry for a day. See if that fixes itself. So how the hell do I have an extra bulb? It fell out of dash. One, two, three. Four. Okay, I'm gonna take the dash apart I guess. 